Hi, I'm Thomas Graham from TG Studio. I'm here in London on the Albert Embankment on the River Thames opposite the House of Parliament to show you our new exciting project. Behind me is the Corniche, a new development by St. James's, and I'm here to show you the beacon on the top of the building, which is, I believe, the best penthouse in London. It's 1,700 square foot of terraces. This is the kitchen. And this is my favorite room. We're on the 25th floor of this three-story penthouse apartment. It's approximately 6,000 square foot. And when you enter, you come straight into this double height reception. Seven meters high, overlooked by the gallery, curved facade. This is the heart of the penthouse. And this is where we created the family office. So focus, the desk. Curved, following the building, made out of American walnut, commanding amazing views over the Thames. I don't know how you get any work done here. From a design point of view, this room is a challenge. On this side is the helical staircase connecting all three floors in the penthouse. And what a view. On the other side, we have the family office. Now, we wanted to separate the spaces, but not shut it off. And the design solution is this open shelving. It's made out of leathered marble, brass, and stained oak. And in itself, it's an opportunity for the owner to display their art collection and their lifestyle. There are four bedrooms in the penthouse. And this is the master. My inspiration for all the bedrooms was the proximity to the river. I wanted to create the feel of a luxury yacht. The entire rear wall in the master bedroom is the bedhead and consists of oak framing, metal panelling and a Parisian Chanel fabric. The wall lights are like jewels. They're made out of metal and see-through alabaster. Emphasizing the richness of the room, the additional bedside table lights each have a crystal base. We have the 26th floor now, and this is the gallery. It's the only square room in the penthouse, and it overlooks double height office and a seven meter tall facade. To reflect the squareness of the room, the design is square. The armchairs by Amy Somerville, the side tables clad in parchment and the metal and glass coffee table all rest on a square patent rug. And here guests can enjoy a drink from the gin bar. The gallery links through to the formal living room. This is a grand room of big proportions. Now the challenge here was not to obstruct the amazing views of the bay window and the side window and to get access all around, which means furniture has to stand freely in the room and look great from all sides. The inspiration of the blues and the greys comes from the color of the light just after sunset. The sofa is a 70s design from Minotti. Its curves and shapes reference the building. The lozenge-shaped rug, specially made to fit the room, radiates from ink blue to light gray. The amazing chandelier comes from Italy. It's made of crystal and metal in the shape of, you guess it, the building. The focal point of the dining room is the wine cellar. We have created a fantastic piece of joinery with refrigerated wine storage and display shelving. We designed an internal curved wall spanning the entire width of the room to house it. The shape of the chandelier and the colours of the room were inspired by the Houses of Parliament. Separating the wine cellar from the dining table is a take 
on a Victorian kissing chair. This is my favourite room. It's the informal living room and it doubles as a private cinema. Wow, look at that view. The sofa has been designed by us to follow the shape of the room. It is divided into slices, like a cake, and upholstered in my favourite Parisian Chanel fabric. The ink blue rug is bespoke. The AV unit in brass and oak is designed around a 100 inch TV. This is the kitchen. The challenge was how to complement what was already here with a table. And the solution was this lozenge shape. Now you can sit, have your breakfast and enjoy the view. Now we are on the 27th floor, where the entire footprint of the building becomes the roof terrace. There's ample space for relaxing, for dining. There even is a kitchen here that connects by dumb waiter down to the other kitchens. It's 1,700 square foot of terraces, 360 degree views. All of this is what makes this the best penthouse in London.